First it was the meatball, then the worm, then back to the meatball. Now it's both the meatball and the worm. We're talking about the timeline of NASA's logos from the 50s to today. In an era where more and more countries and companies are making the leap into space, the return of the worm comes at a time of space craze revival. It's become a cult thing, yeah. you know, with a, with a huge following. That's Richard Daney, the man who designed the worm back in the 70s. We had a lot of wonderful finished products, yeah, you know, yeah. rockets and, and space shuttles and the Hubble telescope. You know, it's sexy and, and uh, exciting for people. So to that, in that time, it was, but it still is today. Why aren't people excited about manned spaceflight? Look at the missions coming up. I mean, it, you know, everybody, it's just revved up again. The meatball is the classic round, multicolored logo form with stars and a swoosh around the acronym. The worm is a smooth typeface in a warm red. Very different logos for different eras of space travel. The worm went out of fashion with the agency in the 90s, replaced by the chunkier meatball. But in 2017, the worm started cropping up on officially sanctioned t-shirts and merchandise. By 2022, it was emblazoned across the Artemis One rocket. It's only increased in use in the years since then, the worm appearing on souvenirs, uniforms, and signs all over. In 2023, a large statue of the worm appeared in front of the New Earth Information Center. This coinciding with NASA bestowing the Exceptional Public Achievement Medal upon its creator, Daney. It's really wonderful for NASA because we're able to express our message of going back to the moon in really fun, interesting ways. And they incorporate the elegance of the worm or the more wowee factor of the meatball in, in really, really wonderful ways. A change in look isn't the only shift happening in recent years. A space craze comeback has also taken over the world, calling for a return to the classics as NASA plans its return to the moon. It's more popular today in the world than it was back then. And that's, it's hard to explain, I think, but it's just, it's what it is. So, so there's something at the core of the whole thing and the fact that I w it was serious but uh, inspirational in a way. It's hard to do with very simple things, but that's the way I've lived my life and uh, career with uh, simplicity. So it works. Yeah.